Um, hi, everybody. Welcome. Um, I know we have about 40, 50 people joining at least right now. And this, of course, will hopefully be up on YouTube very soon. Welcome, welcome to spend some free time, but some, I think, valuable time talking about hair color. And I want to take you, you know, it's really good to start with a little history. Uh, our key focus today is a category of hair color that I find really important, and that's demi no lift deposit only hair color. And I guess I want to share a little bit of history that'll that'll help. That's it's all we think this is new stuff, but basically a, a long time ago, um, when I was still consulting for Clairol and I was working in Florida for a time, there was an incredible woman who owned a stationery shop in Orlando. And she would fly to New York to Eve Claude to have her gray covered. And what they would do is cover her gray and leave her faded brown out as her highlight. And they were using something that I bet some of you have heard about called Revlon Young Hair. Oh Revlon God. Young Hair was came with two bottles in a box. They had different shades, which were intermixable. It had developer, which was, it looked like a packet of, uh, of uh, Sweet and Low. It was powder peroxide, five volume. You would mix the powder peroxide, and this was a slightly alkaline dye, so it did not lift hair, it would deposit only. So if I put level, if a lady was 50% gray and 50% medium brown, and I used light brown, her white hair would turn light brown, and her level three hair would remain the same. How great, it looked like hundreds of dollars of highlighting. If the woman only wanted everything all one color, she was a level three, medium brown, you apply to level three, everything was brown. So it became very creative and really, really wonderful. So that was a, one of the introductions I had. And then Clairol created something called Second Nature, which was no lift, deposit only, and um, absolutely no change. Again, it was slightly alkaline. So there are some people today who I, I think Demi-permanent color is wonderful because when you're working with pre-lightened hair or when you're working with faded hair or when you want to cover gray in an interesting way, for example, I believe the, the most important things we can do is work within a pH range that keeps the hair super healthy. Now, let's, let's remember what beauty school taught us, and they were right, but they were only partially right. We were taught as beauty school students, unless you guys up in the corner, hi, every guy, everybody. Um, we were taught if you want to cover gray, you've got to use permanent color. If you want to cover gray, well, that was true in 1940, in 1950. But in the late 1960s, 70s and forward, you did not need to use permanent dye to cover gray. But most manufacturers chose to introduce um, de Demi, uh, alkaline, slightly alkaline demi, but they thought we don't want to upset the apple cart. We've already got millions of people knowing that to cover gray, they've got to use permanent dye. I will amend the sentence. If you want to cover gray and also change or lighten the hair that still didn't turn gray, you need to use permanent dye. However, if you're working on hair that is brown or blonde or red and graying, and you don't care about lightening the hair or changing the hair that still didn't turn gray, why in the hell would I use permanent dye when I don't need to because I do not need to lift the still pigmented hair? And if I'm creative and I use a demi no lift shade, a little lighter, a little warmer, a little different from that natural. Again, you look like a person who has hundreds of dollars of highlights. I'll take you back. When my former husband, Carmine, and I opened our salon on Madison Avenue in New York, a woman who I'd worked with very closely, who was a very, very prominent, wealthy lawyer named was Sally, had salt and pepper gray hair. She was in her mid 30s. She had like probably 15% in the front and scattered through, but you know, she didn't want to do the whole, she'd been told peroxide's bad for your hair, ammonia's, she was concerned, but she said, I really don't want this gray, but I don't want it to look like I, I did a dye job. You know, she didn't want the Elvira queen of the night where everything's just one color. 
So at the time, <clears throat> Second Nature existed and I used Second Nature light golden brown on her medium brown hair. I mixed it with, with according to manufacturer's instructions with 20 volume developer. And I applied this to the, all the hair and I'll, okay, I always omit the very, very tips because I bring that through on the last moments due to porosity, as you guys understand. And I processed it as the manufacturer promised me and directed, please process this for 45 minutes at room temperature. I did that. I rinsed the hair real well till the water ran clear, shampooed and conditioned. She looked so great. She looked like she had little lighter brown highlights, perfectly covered gray in her brown. And I was able to do that for years. If she would have been 100% gray, it still would have covered her gray. And Annie, one of the questions we always get is, well, how long can you use this? And then it'll stop covering the gray. Uh, when it gets to be 80% gray, can you use this? The answer, of course, is yes, as long as you use it properly, okay? So now we have people, there's uh, Second Nature by Clara. There's um, Revlon had young hair. Then years ago, Wella came out with something called presentation. And following presentation, they had, which is still great, color touch by Wella. Mm -hmm. And Goldwell had a really wonderful acidic demi, but it was such a dye load, it was called color on. It's still on the market. Um, so many other companies started jumping on the demi color bandwagon. Why? Demi is, they will say long lasting semi-permanent color. And I have a very bad problem with that. It is not semi-permanent color. D means Demi. D means develop or darken. And D means um, developer, darken, deposit. Okay. We can use these Demi shades on bleached hair to tone. We can use it on faded hair lengths to low light the hair beautifully. And we can use it to cover gray as much or as little as we want. So that's it. Um, the one thing that's so interesting, everybody's jumped on this bandwagon. Somebody, some people have done it better than others. But color companies, except for the brave, like Annie Beecher sitting up there, have decided, and, and Redken did a good thing. L'Oreal now has, um, Redken has a cream version of Shades EQ. Uh, L'Oreal has Richez. These are all demis, okay? They are mixed with five volume developer. It is very, very confusing when they say, well, if you want a little lift, mix it with a little higher volume developer. No, 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 no. If I want a little lift, I use permanent dye. Let's not muddy the waters, okay? Let's make, this is a wonderful product. I adore it. Beauty Fusion is such an exquisitely different and very, very easily used product. Uh, I, there's it's such a smart smart introduction to liquid demi color, liquid acidic demi color. Many of you have used Shades EQ or Colorance or Rusk Deep Shine and Paul Mitchell has a liquid demi. And when it's mixed with five volume developer, and processed from five to 20 minutes at room temperature, you've created Shades EQ or Rusk Deep Shine or anything like that, okay? But that is sheer and shiny uh, refreshment of faded ends, uh, enhancing natural hair where the person's terrified, toning blondes. But supposing I want to cover gray with no lift and with a line of demarcation that is softer, I will continue to use Beauty Fusion. I will continue to mix it with five volume developer, but instead of keeping it as an acidic demi, I'm going to change it into a slightly alkaline demi. And this is our Beauty Fusion color booster. Now, it has different forms. I will tell you more about that later. This is ammonia. This is nothing but cream ammonia. It can never be just dumped on the hair without mixing it with color. It is ammonia at a pH of 12.7. So if I mix, and I'm I, for ease of mixture, I would put, let's supposing I'm going to use it to cover gray. Into my bowl, I would choose the shade of Beauty Fusion I wish to use. But in my bowl, before I add anything, I'm gonna pour in the five volume developer. 
or into my bottle, five volume. And this oxy milk is delicious. It contains Zamea and oxy milk, which actually don't tell anybody. You can use this with other brands to condition the hair when you color it. It keeps it in the wonderful consistency. It's a wonderful conditioning developer. Okay. So in your bowler bottle, you'll first add the developer. You will then add the booster. Why? It's easier to mix like a velvety smooth thing. So you mix the two, this is white, this is white. You mix the two white things together. Mix the developer in the bowl or with the applicator with the booster. Here's my measurements because I'm from the United States. Two ounces of developer, one teaspoon of booster. When that's all mixed nice and satiny smooth, two ounces of beauty fusion, okay? Two ounces developer, two ounces beauty fusion, one teaspoon of booster. That gives that low volume, beautiful color, that bit of a boost that it's gonna pump up the alkalinity. Therefore, you're gonna get penetration into the hair. You've got a cuticle and cortex are gonna open. The molecules are gonna slide into the cuticle into the outer and inner layers of the cortex and into the cortex where they will remain. They will swell, they will deposit, and they will remain in the hair. This is not a semi-permanent that, that rinses out. These contain direct dye and oxidative dye. The direct dye, many brands use direct and, oxid and oxidative, but we, that's another one you spend the day with me, okay? This, this oxidative dye and direct dye are going to interact with the developer, which is, which is our, uh, this is going to start oxidation. And with this wonderful small amount of our wonderful color booster, everybody color booster is cream ammonia. It increases the pH of the products. Got it, everybody. All right. So I remember just a tip that's not in the literature. I mix the developer and the booster first, then I add the color, okay? Um, so when, if you ever have any questions, and I'm sure you guys, are there any ways we can get pictures of the other people who've joined? We have my two cute guys up here on the, on the right hand, and I know we have a lot of people. Everybody, you can call the Artego office, your Artego representative. Oh, hi. <laughs> or you can call me or Elisa who or Damien. And if you follow me every day, I give you their phone numbers. If you have not yet received chapter two, this is what I wrote when Annie asked me to first join the color company. This is how to use Beauty Fusion as a demi-permanent color service, Demi Plus. This is how to use it to cover gray to create low lights that do not fade or to deepen or infuse tone into thick, coarse, dense hair. Got it? So this is slightly alkaline. And this book tells you how to use the boosters, how to mix, and I even share some really never fail formulas with you. In addition to the book and to the products, we, we do have swatch books. And when you buy a larger pre-pack, you get a swatch book or you can just ask for one and we'll send you one. There's a charge, but it's nominal. Okay, so this is how I choose to cover gray with no lift, how I choose to low light hair. You might say, but Beth, sometimes we can low light hair with just using the color and the developer without a booster. Yeah, you can, but I want you to think of a milkshake. When you mix the booster, in with the developer and the color. It's like you've made a more opaque, richer, longer lasting, more intense version of a liquid demi. So these are not low lights that wash out in four or six shampoos or 10 shampoos. These are forever, baby. These things are wonderful. Now, um, and after I wrap the last foil or after I paint in the last low light, I allow the, product, the, the client to, to relax for 25 to 30 minutes, no heat. Then I rinse shampoo and condition, okay? And the um, Beauty Fusion shades um, come in uh, the bottles that sh actually show you. And I find this 
a, a little less than clear. So I'm going to show you. At the bottom, you see three circles. When you see the three circles, this tells us you can use this for full coverage as a permanent hair color. You can use this as a demi plus for doing what we want, making it a slightly alkaline demi. And you can also use this like Shades EQ or like uh, Paul Mitchell liquids. This is, it can be used for everything. Got it? Does that help? Guys, does nod your head if that made sense? <laughs> okay, you guys, thank, what smart people. Yeah, you're putting thumbs up. I love it. Okay, so this is the way we use this wonderful um, product. And um, so in order, what it does is takes us to the next step. We need no alkalinity when we glaze or gloss hair or when we refresh faded ends. We need a bit of alkalinity when we want to cover gray with no lift and we don't want to lighten the previously uh, the still pigmented hair but when I want to use beauty fusion as a permanent dye which will be our next class then I need to use more booster and 20 volume 30 volume or 40 volume developer okay we make a 13 volume developer which can be used but I would like to that's not really necessary but I will take you into it in different events. Okay, people ask me all the time, gee, Beth, I used Wella Color Touch and I processed the client for 20 minutes under heat and continued processing the hair for 20 additional minutes at room temperature. And that's correct. Those are the Wella instructions. We at Beauty Fusion tell you, you do not need any heat. Got it? So when you apply that gray coverage or you want to Let's say posing a woman has blah, dishwater blonde, yucko hair with no fun, no pizzazz. Nobody's asking her out. She's just sitting there. <laughs> okay. You want to make her a richer, more, let's say, maple brunette or a touch of auburn. So you want to slightly deepen her, right? Condition her and add tone. There's no reason to use permanent dye. Use our Demi Plus or our Cream Demi using Beauty Fusion. So here we have a brand. It's your gloss, it's your glaze. It's your Demi Plus or Cream Demi. And then the big Megilla, it becomes permanent dye. So on your dispensary shelves, you don't need three different things with 110 shades of each. We can take one thing and use it for a number of things with incredible performance and shine. I'm probably one of the bitchiest people you'd ever want to know when it comes to not liking hair color. When I made Logix, when I made Color uh, Fusion and reformulated Shades EQ with Redken, when I worked with Joyco, when I made my own brand, I called in five of my top killer colorists who were just as mean as I was. And the chemist would say, my God, I submit one or two things, everybody's fine. And I said, well, that's good, but you want, we want to make this a big hit. Because if I tell you a formula works, I promise you it works. And the reason I can tell you I promise you it works, I used it on my clients. I've swatched out for the Beechers every single shade of Beauty Fusion. And when you come to my class, I ask you to bring your favorite piece of color and developer. And we do a swatch exercise where we use, you might say to me, I want to see what that 6WG does on a hair. Let's see what we swatch that. I bring the swatches. The Beechers have generously purchased the best swatches in the world for me, which come from, um, they, get, they get this hair. It's from this, the International Hair Importers Group based in Glendale, which is a, poor, a part of the Bronx, New York. If swatches have been dipped in formaldehyde in order to eliminate lice or anything, that formaldehyde dip mm -hmm. makes it so the color does not turn out. What International Hair Importers does is immerses the, the virgin swatches in ultraviolet light, which kills everything. When I worked with every major manufacturer, we always went to International Hair Importers. And if you visit me on my Facebook group, which is free, Beth Minardi Hair Color, and on my group where it's called Conversations with Top Color Professionals. They're free. 
And people who want to cut hair or do manicures do not go on to this page. It's for colorists only. I also have a website that's $25 a year where we go deep. And that's Beth Minardi All Access. All these kinds of formulas are posted there every day. And what's so great is, and Annie knows this, people who are using our brand ask questions every day. And you also have my phone number. If you're confused or you want a formula, I answer the phone. So you have a lot of help. You also have wonderful technical help from a woman who's been with me for 15 years. Her name is Elisa Bennett, excuse me, Elisa Messick. Elisa is a genius and has worked like I have with all brands. And Damien Devine, again, has, was a Wella educator versed in everything. So those wonderful people, along with the great people working with Annie and her office can really help you. And if there's ever a big enigma, they can help you. Okay, questions. <clears throat> working on porous hair. Let's pretend you're working on a lady with brown hair. It's light, ashy brown. She's got some gray. And the ends have either been relaxed or permed or in the sun, and they're very, very light. They're bleached out. What you might not want to do, of course, color seeks its level. We remember porous hair, no matter what you're using. Porous hair always grabs darker and drabber than you think it might. So you might put the your um, Beauty Fusion Retouch through the healthier hair, zones one and two, omit these ends, and you can do several things. Number one, you can simply reduce the time and put these on for the last seven, eight minutes. What I prefer, if I'm using a 6WG, let's say, in the bottle here, I might open the bottle and add um, some level eight, three, a half ounce and a half ounce of five volume. I'm lightening the formula a bit and bringing it through, okay? Some people prefer to open the bottle and simply add some of our special clear, mix it together and add, and you'll get a lovely result. And remember everybody, it's okay if the ends of the hair are lighter and the roots are deeper. It's not good when we have hot roots with light roots and deeper ends. So I see how many people are joining us so far, gang? Just About 30, so 30, 30? 35. Oh, we usually have 200. We didn't do enough work posting this. This will be, by the way, up on YouTube and everything. So before I go, I know that Annie sometimes gets some questions. Annie, um, you want to yes. shoot me some of the, because people do call in and ask, what, what can I help with? All right. Um, one of them, and you kind of answered, but we'll we'll reiterate. Can you confirm the mixing ration for uh, great coverage and should be no heat? What happens if heat is added? Heat will not ruin anything. It simply is not necessary. When we measure the booster in with this wonderful developer and the color, we have created a sufficiently alkaline environment, um, Annie, that does not require heat in order to penetrate into the hair. If someone's frightened and they use heat, nobody's gonna die, the earth will still spin on its axis, everything's fine, you just don't need heat. <laughs> um, but I will say this, there are some clients who, um, and you've seen them, they kind of have sideburns, like sometimes that go down to here, and they have that wavy curly and their ponytail is so thick, it's this thick, you know? She needs like two ponytails to merge into one. Um, those thick, coarser, denser clients, please leave it on for 45 minutes. For So 30 minutes for most everybody. But when a person's thick, coarser, dense, 45 minutes. Heat. Some people do get reactions to heat with anything on them. Some salons, um, I work with an amazing African um, American colorist named Vanessa, and she is a well -a rep, but she's also just a color genius. She, on some of her very, very, very dense uh, African hair clients, will use steam. What we've learned from Dr. Uh, John Halal and from my dear friend, Max Mazzano, who works with us and is a color guru, um, have noted that in England and in Europe, they've done experiments where when the hair is slightly exposed to humidity, to steam, not pouring, but steam, it will help very, very resistant hair take better. I will say that I, since I'm just celebrating my first anniversary with the company, thank you, Annie Beecher, and uh, the guys over there, Alan and uh, Jay. Um, 
I find even with moderate, I have really never thought I needed to use heat. I have done a strand test and squished, you know, moved it off and said, let me give her five or 10 more minutes. And it's beautiful. So I hope that answered the question. Heat is not harmful, but we do have to remember something. If you're gonna use heat and it's not steam, please cover the hair with plastic, with bleach, with color, with anything else. As color dries out on the head, it stops working. So please don't allow, keep everything nice and moist. That's why when you go back and check the client every 10, 15 minutes, if you see any spots that look a little dry, or maybe you know they some of the um, moisture has left. Just take your brush or your applicator and squirt a little more on just to make sure that everything stays nice and moist. Great question and a and a very very valid one. All right. Second question is: Is it always equal parts developer to color on all formulas? It is always equal parts developer to color on all formulas. However, in our next class, when we talk about high lift blonding, like most brands, we double the developer. So if it's two ounces of color, it's four ounces of 40 volume developer. Yes. Can I use 13 volume for a demo? Yes. <laughs> Uh, are you using that because you also want to lighten the still pigmented hair? Um, you will get a very slight lift, but not predictable. Uh, it might be a half level. It might be a level. Um, if you are happy and getting great results and you'd like to mix the beauty fusion with the booster and um, 13 volume and you're getting results you love, there's no way I'm going to stop you. When I have my students with me, I have two class. I have a class coming up next week in Pittsburgh, the end of the month in New Jersey. Then I'm going to be in Sarasota, Florida and Chicago before ABS. And I'm going to be in Detroit and all over the place. Um, I will tell you that in class, we talk about five volume. And if someone would like to investigate the difference between five and 13 volume, we do two swatches with the same formula, once with five volume and once oh. with 13. All right, well, this is a second question with that. When should we be using the 13 volume? When you want, when you want to. <laughs> I see, I see, you know, here's what happened. And I, I, I'm not sure, but I'm sure. When Wella introduced at, at presentation, which was a wonderful brand, then they reintroduced Wella Color Touch, which when I made my Beth Minardi signature cream demis, I used as my benchmark a number of the Wella Color Touch shades. Okay. But unlike Wella, I use an ounce of color and an ounce of developer, not double developer. Okay. Why am I telling you that? Wella must have said to themselves, hmm. We're doing very well with this wonderful product. How can we make more people use it? I know what we'll do. Maybe we'll tell them to use 13.5% volume to create a little bit of lift without compromising the deposit of the color. Right? So people are under the impression that peroxide is bleach. It is not bleach. Does it have a brightening or lightening effect because it is rearranging the uh, eumelanin and the pheomelanin inside the cortex? Yes, but peroxide itself is not bleach. This is what creates the bleach, the pH of the product. In order to lift the hair, to lighten hair, we need a product with a minimum pH of 9.3. When we mix Beauty Fusion with five volume developer and with booster, we are creating a pH of about eight, 8.2. So we're not really creating lift. Adding a higher volume developer, I'll punch up the lift a little more, but not much. Now, if you speak to a Wella expert and ask them why they have 13.5%, they'll say for flexibility, if you'd like to um, bring down the intensity and add a little lift. 
If I want to add a little lift, I prefer to use permanent hair color and maybe a lower volume developer or a, a deeper shade, a light, excuse me, a slightly lighter shade. Is this confusing or does it make sense? I can't yeah, hear. It sense. Can any of these guys get unmuted so they can talk to me? Jason, Justin, is that possible? Hello? Yeah, I, I can mute, mute them one by one. Okay, yes. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have your names. Who's the lovely lady with the brown hair? And the, hi, what's your name? I have to be able to know to unmute her. I think that's Haley Gregory. Hi, oh, Haley, I know you. What, you, what, how can I help you? Anything you want, you need to know, Haley? Hi, it's so good to see you again, Beth. I have two things I need to know. First, I miss desperately being in that Facebook group. So I need you to join me to it. I can't find it when I search for it. I used to be in it very active and now I just can't find the darn thing. Are you talking about my, my website? Or Your my conversations. Okay. I'm Here's still in the membership it. website with no problems. I can get in that easy peasy. It's no. the conversations. Conversations is Facebook. The website is right. best minority all That's access. what I can't get into. Okay, here's Facebook how to get is what I can get it's, into. It's two dollars and eight cents a month. I think most people can afford it. Here's what you do. You go yes, it's to awesome. the top of your computer and you go to www.bethminardi-allaccess.com. Okay, it'll say, uh, it'll ask you, hi, what's your name, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And it'll say, um, here, give me your credit card for $25. Then you have to go to the next step, which is not clear, log in. I never log out. Why bother? Just leave it up there. Never log out because you can do anything else. Okay, log in. Once you log in, you go to Beth's posts and you will see over 300 hair color lessons there. Oh, wow. There are 300 mm -hmm. lessons. Mm -hmm. My plan is to write a book and the book will have the book of blonde, the book of brunette, the book of, of um, red, that will go into the business so that you don't have to buy the whole, you know, it won't look like the Bible like this there. But it'll be affordable and I'm hoping that the beachers will help me because this is so please um does that help you you got to log in and go to Beth's posts and you can ask a thousand questions a day or 10 a year or whatever how do I get into the Facebook group okay I'm go in the all access group with no problem I okay. just can't find it when I put it in my Facebook Google Okay, here's what to do. Go to Facebook. Go to Facebook and ask to join groups. It is a it is not a Facebook page. It is a Facebook group page. Go to group page. Then go to the name of the group. This is our group for hair colorists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's called because it's a conversation. Mm -hmm. Conversation mm -hmm. with top color professionals by mm -hmm. Beth Minardi. I'll say it again. Go to Facebook mm -hmm. groups conversations with top color professionals by Beth Minardi. It'll ask you, are you a hairdresser? Did you go to school? You answer these questions. I let people in every day. Guys, we've got now 14,000, are you ready for this? Hair colors from Dubai, Japan, America, Canada, <laughs> South America. And it's interesting because they'll say, well, where I live, you know, cause like Asian hair is really tough to to lighten or to, to, or to cover, but we're getting in from, and it, of course we talk about Artego, we talk about beauty fusion, but people will say to me, I can't, I'm having trouble with this L'Oreal, or I want to know what, what the tobacco is. And we talk to one another and then other people will even jump in and say, and here's what I would do. Does that help you? I understand exactly what you say. And when I did that bit by bit, the only thing that pulls up in my Facebook says Beth Minardi hair color group. That's the, that's, second, that's the easiest. That's the second one. That's easy yeah, too. I'm joined in that one, but the conversations doesn't come up as an option for me for because whatever are you reason. Going, are you going to Facebook groups? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Why I don't you take here? Here's my phone number. When you, we get off here, you call me. Okay. Here's my phone number. Do you have pencil? All right. I got Anybody you. Can, 
It's not, it's, it's a horse kept secret. When I, talk to you I think, I think the plumber in uh, Georgia has my phone number. Okay, 646-468-9802. Let's get you on, okay? Perfect, thank you. Right, Beth, Justin said, just put a thing through. We will send the links to all of Beth's groups and website in an email. Oh, to, will you send it to her, to Haley? So to she has, everybody oh, on here. Everybody will be here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. See how easy this is? I, I hope we'll get you there, if Haley. If it doesn't help, you call me. Okay. Okay, uh, gentlemen over here, anybody have a question? Here's one. Can you use Beauty Fusion as a base breaker? You can. I wouldn't, but you certainly can. I don't believe in using any color as a base breaker, but does it? But what's let's define breaking the base. <laughs> Breaking the base means that if a person is level three in a very controlled and short amount of time, not two minutes, that's not enough, you can lighten the hair to a level three. If she's a level three, you can lighten to a four. If she's a level seven, you can lighten to an eight, okay? If you want to use, if I was going to use base breaker on dark brown hair, do you know how I would do it? You want to know? Mm-hmm. One formula. Now this is, I'm not talking about light. I'm talking about black, dark brown, and medium brown. Okay? I would do this. I'd put two ounces of 6.11, which is blue, right? With uh, two ounces of 6.11, two ounces of, of 20 volume, and one booster in the in a bowl or a bottle and i'd mix it up because i got to get that little bit of alkalinity going in there apply to those brown roots and it, you'll start to see a change right away but it's not going to change in like annie has a person who uses level 12 but they've got to be at that sink in two minutes so you're not you can go a little too lighter if i have a person who has light brown hair light like a level four five six that did i would use do the same thing with two ounces of 9.11 two ounces of 20 volume developer and one booster, shake it up real well, apply tiny sections, quick, quick, quick roots only. And in five to maybe eight minutes, you will be one level lighter. Well, did a smart thing. They just came out with a base breaker and they have a double cool so that when you lighten brown hair, it doesn't get brassy and a single cool so that when you lighten blonder hair, it doesn't go brassy, okay? Does that help you? Haley, yes, base breaker. So, um, and if you like today, what I can do is I'll post that on Facebook group page to help you. I'll, I'll have it written down. Does that help? Okay. What about these cute two guys over here in the right-hand corner? Questions? Comments? Raise your hand if you have a question or comment. No? You're just listening. Okay, okay, here's a question just popped up. When you say one one booster, what's the measurements? Okay, I'm American and I don't use grams. I use teaspoons. So I have tea, little teaspoons and I I I put the booster on. I, you know how when you bake, you take that knife and you go across the top to make sure it's not all above there and I dump it right in. And if you have a scale, of course, it's very easy for you to measure the grams. There are five and a half, almost six grams in a teaspoon. And that's here in our book. As I said, I might've said this before, does everybody on right, just all you need to do is nod your head. Does everybody have chapter two? You don't. Randy, I'll send it to you. You're <laughs> gonna get one today. Do you Annie? have Annie, you can send it. I'm going to order a bunch after the first of the next month, and you can just send it with that. Okay. Thank you. Also, and it is available. Damien has it or, or Annie's office. If you want it online, they can just push a button and send it. Mm -hmm. I like the paper one. And um, and and you know what? You should. We'll send you chapters one, two, and three. Correct. Chapter one is how to use it like a liquid acidic demi, like Shades EQ or Paul Mitchell, the liquids, or colorons. Chapter two is how to use it like Richez or Color Touch. Chapter three is how to use it as a, any of your permanent dyes, uh, as well as high lift, okay? And I'm working on chapter four. 
Okay. Also, um, Beth, we can tell everybody if you need these checked, because somebody said they do not have chapter two, we can email it to you. If you, you can email me at Annie at BeecherGroup.com and I'll send it out to you today. Thank we you. also have the teaspoons. We have chapter one, two, and three. Anything you need, let us know and we'll get it out to you right away. Okay, does that help guys? Here's an, two, a couple questions. What is the best shades to use? Doesn't say for what, but what is the best shades to use? Okay. If I could, okay. You know, Annie, you guys have a, a thing that I sent of, I gave like, banishing uh, unwanted warmth, mm -hmm. creating, a, creating a rich maple brown. And you guys right. have it as a handout. But um, if you guys want to take notes, let me tell you the shades that I would always and Sorry have. to interrupt. She was asking about gray. Oh, gray. Okay, thank you. Okay, are you ready, guys? To cover gray, here's what, just to get started. Just to get started. In the naturals, which are the 0.0 shades, I don't think most of us do a ton of black every year. I don't think most of us need to order black today unless you need black. I'm, a level three is such a rich color. It's almost black. Let's, okay. In naturals, which are the 0.0s, I would order 4-0, 8 10 and 12-0. If I need 9O, all I got to do is mix equal parts of 8O and 10O. I'm making 9O, right? Okay, thanks. Okay. In the ash shades, uh, skip down. I would use 6.11, 6 which is level six blue, blue. It's the drabber. That's the thing I told you about mixing to use as a base breaker on dark, dark hair. It'll lighten and also banish unwanted warmth. And I would also use 911. In the high lift um, blondes, 12.1 is wonderful. Sand is a beautiful shade. It oh, is I a new. Them. I'm sorry. Uh, those are my favorites. The sands I love. They are a blue golden. They're almost like a soft greenish. But my favorites in those are 7.13 and 9.13. Now this is just to get you started. We don't really need matte to vary to start, but let's go to gold. I love, and you will use a lot of 5.3. 5.3 mixed with 6.0 is spectacular for covering gray. That's why when you're in class, we can write down thousands of these. And I wish we could do a, a Zoom that was a, like a three hour Zoom, but I don't know how many people would like that. So if we go to gold, 5.3, 7.3, and 10.3. Of course, 12.3, you're going to circle because 12.3, when mixed with any of our coppers, gentles the copper, lightens the copper, and makes it just a touch warmer. So 12.3 is an important shade. Intense copper, um, 5.4 and 7.4. We have a wonderful new shade in warm gold, which is, it's called a mahogany. It is, it is so beautiful. Um, and you don't need all of these. You need 5.832. And I love 7.435. In the reds, unless you're going to make a woman so dark, 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 dark red, that it's almost not red, I would tell you 6.6. .6. In intense reds, I think a really, really intense red, that's where you go to five, 5.66, because you can always use 7.4. 7.44, I use a lot, and I add different tones of reds, lighter and darker, and I use 7.44 with that 12G, which is incredible. Um, last week, if any of you guys were on my Facebook, and you saw that I posted that sexy pastel peach blonde walking down the street in her bra in New York City with the cigarette. Is that a killer? Woo! And so anyway, I gave those formulas. Okay, chocolate, circle 7.7. 7.7 is like a chocolate Hershey's bar. It looks like a level five. It's beautiful. And I mix 7.7 with 7.3 a lot with 7-0 or with 6-0, it's lovely. Violets, 
Um, I'm not a fan of, I use 12.2. You don't need knit violets, but natural violet is violet that's a little softer, that has a little bit of a blend in it. And we have a new shade, 5.283. If you're doing a lot of burgundy, congratulations. Um, I like 6.26. You don't need mahogany to start out with. And in the pastels, if you're doing some, I'll tell you what, to create to create rose gold with 744 and 12.3, you've got to get that pink pastel. The pink, an ounce of pink pastel and an ounce of 12.3 with a half ounce of 744 gives you, if you're using pre-bleached hair and you want to tone it like a, or even on like nasty, like medium blah ash blonde hair, that pink mixed with the 12.3 and the 7.4.4 is gorgeous. And of course, clear. Those are the shades for, mo for gray coverage. And I gave you one that's just fun, but everything I gave you covers gray, but mix it with, as it, when you're using it as a demi cream, you're going to mix it with, booster and with five volume. If you're going to use it as a permanent dye where you want lift and deposit, you're going to mix it with booster and 20 volume developer, okay? What's the difference? When I use Beauty Fusion as a cream Demi Plus, I am darkening the hair only. I am toning the hair that's been pre-lightened or faded. I am covering gray. When I am using permanent color to cover gray, I am lightening the hair that is still not turned gray and I'm infusing beautiful tone in that. You know, these classes are so much fun and I could, I wish I had a model here and swatches and I could make you put on a glove and make you mix the color and we'd, and that's what we're going to be doing. And I have three seats left in Pittsburgh and two seats left in New Jersey. And I do have lots of seats left in Sarasota in January. And um, if you register, I think I have six, five more, you get a $75 discount, but that's Florida. Um, and I don't have enough time to talk to you about that. But in the back of the sheet, I have colorist notes to provide mixing the alkalinity about our developers, use five volume mixed with equal parts of beauty fusion. And I put use 13 volume mixed with equal parts of beauty fusion for a very gradual lift of the pigment of hair with its desired. But these sheets I rewrote, these are not the sheets that came, that were very pretty that came with the brand from Italy. These are after I was permitted, the company said to me, go ahead, do your own swatch testing and please rewrite these so our clients understand them better. Okay. Anybody else with a question? Yes. Okay. So Roberta, that tea, that white spoon is the teaspoon. I can answer that one. Okay. Well, they come I want to know, are you saying the white up. spoon to use with the boosters is one teaspoon? Correct. Yes. Those kind okay. of um, what is the consistency of both five and 13 volume? Are they thick enough for a bowl? Is one more liquid better for a bottle? No, they're both really good for a bottle, for a bowl. They're both fine. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to share something, <clears throat> Annie, that's some people only you want to use a bottle. So here's what I do. I use, if I'm going to use two ounces of 20, of 20 volume oxy milk. I'll use one ounce of 20 volume oxy milk and cheap liquid 20 volume stabilized liquidy liquid liquid developer. Because what it does is it thins up the consistency of the oxy milk so that, you know, sometimes with that tiny little hole in the bottle and you want to do a two week pinpoint retouch around somebody's face using a bowl and brush. I don't care how good you are. So I'm mixing equal parts of our wonderful oxy milk with all those wonderful conditioners. And I'm thinning it out with anybody's stable liquid clear developer. Okay. That helps. That helps. Yay! And by the way, 
most people don't know this. If you get cheap salt from the grocery store, like Morton salt, and you're soaking your applicator bottles, I get a bucket. I fill the bucket with hot water. I sprinkle in salt. I dunk in the applicator bottles. You don't touch them. You don't brush them. Nothing. That salt lifts that color right out of the bottle. You just throw it under the spigot, dump it upside down. You're done. You've cleaned. Interesting. Never heard that one before. Oh, yeah. It works like a charm. <laughs> Great. That's all the questions. Oh, somebody, I thought you'd cover this, but somebody asked, what is 13 volume for? Okay. It is true that the volume of developer slightly affects a color product's ability to lighten the hair. Notice I said slightly. I will get back to a history lesson that I don't like to bring up, but I always do in every class I teach. Many years ago, I was walking out of the International Beauty Show. I had just introduced Logics and I'm walking out with Arnie Miller. Had anybody ever heard of Arnie Miller in a color called Matrix? Yeah. I said, uh, he goes, would you like to come to work for me? And I said, oh, thanks. That's so nice. And I congratulated him on his show. And and I <clears throat> he had Arnie Land. He had these massive bridges across the room with these beautiful models. He really did a beautiful job. And I said, Arnie, this is very confusing. Why are you telling people that if they mix color with 10 volume developer, they'll get one level of lift? If they mix it with 20 volume developer, they will get two levels of lift. If they mix a shade with three, uh, 30 volume developer, they'll get three ounce of three levels of lift. If they mix a color with 40 volume developer, they will get four levels of lift because that's not true. He said, yeah, it's true enough. And he said, there's no way you can teach these people to do it the right way. So that's close enough. Hmm. Okay. Let's think of Let's think of how's the other way to formulate. In a lab, when a colorist, laboratory chemist is creating a line of color, and his job is to say that that color covers gray 100%. Let's say we're using permanent dye, Annie. Every chemist I've ever worked for, from companies that don't even like one another, don't know one, everybody tests the color performance with 20 volume developer. Everybody to get the highest lift in a single process will use a level 10, 11, or 12 with double 40 volume. Everybody I've used so far. Everybody to, when I was with Logix, we made zero volume developer, which was not zero volume. It was two volume. That was to create a color wash, which was supposed to make it like color with hardly any lift. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Um, we called it a color wash. It works sometimes. Let's say that, let's say that the way, here's how I, here's how I think about color. Let's think about dark hair color. Here it is up at the top. It's the dark, medium, light, right? I have a dark natural color. I mix a light natural color with that dark, and I apply it to that dark color. Here's the dark color, here's the lighter hair color. My result will be somewhere in between the dark hair color and the lighter hair color. Mm -hmm. It will not go as light as the color I put on. It can't. Think of this, this is ice. This is a solid block of ice. This is boiling water. What happens when I mix boiling water with ice? Melt. The ice melts. Does the, uh, the, the ice melt? Does it become boiling water? No, the boiling water heats. The, the, the mathematical thing is you write on a board, what is the current level of the hair? Let's say the current level is three, medium brown. So question number one. What is the natural level of the hair now? Underneath that, write this question. What is the level of the shade I apply? 
So the number one question is, what is the hair's current natural level? Question two, what is the level of the color formula I'm going to apply? I want you to, let's say we're going to apply a level six, which is dark blonde. The level we are using, we're applying to level three. We're using a product level six. The hair is level three. We're using a level six. Three plus six is nine. Nine divided by two, two is four and a half. Four. The final level will be between a level four and level five. It works every single time. So you can go in the back and go, okay, she's a four. Let's see. You know, if I put a, a six on that, let's see. Uh, she's a four. I put on a six. Four plus six is 10 divided by two, five. Do I want her to be a five or do I want to be a lighter? Let's supposing she's a three and I apply a level seven. She's a three. I apply a seven. Three plus seven is 10 divided by two, she'll be a five. It works with every brand. So what I'm gonna do is bring to class, and I do this all the time, Annie, I have a brown swatch, right? I use a level 5-0 and I mix it with 10 volume, 20 volume, 30 volume, and 40 volume. I let it process for the same amount of time. I hold it up in front of the class. I say, what do you see? Well, that one's a little lighter maybe. That's... My, a wonderful person who was on my team in the past, Sherry Rate, who is a doubting Thomas, and that's good because she really looks at everything. She did, she made a huge swatch board of a, a three violet with a five, 10, 20, 30, and 40 volume. Hardly any difference. Huh. It is the, if you want to, people go, I wanted to lighten my level three formula. So I used 30 volume instead of 20. Why didn't you use four for level four? Why did you think that the developer was going to lift them a level? Does it lift a little more? Yes. On thick, coarse, dense hair, it might lift differently than it does on thin, fine, fragile hair. Hmm. But the, the king of the castle here is the level of the color. This is the motor. The smaller the motor, the deeper the color. The higher lift, the, the levels 10, 11, and 12 are like a Ferrari. They're high, they are powerful. The levels one, two, and three are like a, a Ford Pinto or a Volkswagen. The developer, the oxidizer is the gasoline. This gets the motor running. And the oxidizer, allows it excites the uh, the uh, it's the ammonia that excites the color molecules in the color to make them start oxidizing and able to lift the natural pigment from the hair and i know i always get silence like huh but once people understand are you guys completely flipped out now <laughs> he's not he's not she might be Okay, Haley. Okay, yeah. Okay. But even if you're not and you're trying to be nice to me, come to class, come to our next Zoom, which is going to be Monday, October 23rd, same time, same channel. If you are interested in ordering and you say, hey, Beth, I, I only really want to try this for blondes. I only want to try this for low lights. I only want to try this for gray coverage. Why don't you just send me a text? or an email, email me at bethminardi at gmail. That's my, my email. And say, hey, Beth, I really enjoyed being on with you and Annie today. Um, can you give me three or four formulas for, and you tell me what it is. And I'm home this afternoon. Um, I've got a pack for my, my class that I'm gonna go teach. But anyway, I'm home. Give me a call. Give me a call. Just give me 10 minutes to take off the sweater. It's roasting. But, um, <laughs> but you know, and we can go, if you have some questions, write them down first. And call me. Chucky. That's my Chucky. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um I think do we have any more questions, Annie? Or what yeah. Um is the booster for gray coverage or making it permanent color? The boost 
the booster is for gray coverage when you, you want to use permanent dye to cover hair, to cover gray. The booster is also for Demi Cream. It's the developer change. If I am using <clears throat> Beauty Fusion as a Demi Plus, and I are Demi Cream, and I want to use it the way I used to use well, a Color Touch or Colorance or Richesse by L'Oreal, I'm going to mix my color with my five volume and booster. And I will cover the gray with no lift to the still brown hair. If I want to cover gray and the client has medium brown hair and I'd like to lighten that a bit, I am going to use my color fusion, my 20 volume developer, and my booster. This is the ammonia. So to cover gray and make it permanent, two teaspoons of booster, two ounces of developer, two ounces of color. Does that help you? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to recap this on, you know what I'm going to do, Annie? I'm going to go upstairs and recap some of this. Okay. And it'll be on my, my Facebook group, Conversations with Top Colorists by Beth Minardi. Okay. One of the attendees is confused about your adding the levels. She said, what was the numbers you added to get your level to apply again? I have never heard of that. I always learned the level developer was the amounts of level of lift. Well, you have to say in your brain, if you're using a level, if you're applying to level three hair, ask yourself, what's going to happen if I apply a level to, oh, here comes Cosmo. Cosmo is on TV. <laughs> He wants to say hello. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, he wants to, it's lunchtime. Okay. Question one: What is the level of the hair you're looking at? What is the hair you want to change? Now let's say what happens when I apply a level 10 to level three. Three plus 10, my Alexa's answering the question. Three plus 10 is 13 divided by two, six and a half. You'll be between a six and a seven. Th that second question, you put whatever you want in. Uh, I'm The lady has level three hair. I apply a level eight. Three plus eight is 11 divided by two, five and a half. Five and a half. <laughs> right. So that second one, you're gonna you're gonna say, I think I'm putting in a six. I think then you're gonna add the current level of the hair with what you think you're putting in. That divide it by two, that's gonna tell you the level. Look, guys, think about this. If I have level two hair and I apply level three color, what's gonna happen? Two plus three is five. Divided by two is two and a half. Is that a big change? No. Watch this. The lady's level two, dark brown. I apply a level four, light brown. Two plus four is? Six. Divided by two, the final level is? Three. You've lined her a level. The lady is level two, dark brown. I apply a level six. Eight. Eight. Divided by two? Four. She's got to be a four. Anybody get that? I know that's, isn't it? It is not true that that extra, that, that, that 30 volume is going to give you another level lift than 20 volume. I'm sorry. No. And I think the next thing I'm going to do in Pittsburgh is I'm going to make the swatches today. I'm bringing them to Pittsburgh. I'm bringing them to, to New Jersey. I'm bringing them to Florida. I'm bringing them to Detroit. I'm bringing them to Chicago. Where do all, Haley, where do you live? Who? Where? She's muted. Well, I don't want... Tennessee. I live in Tennessee. Oh, okay. well, I was going to teach there, but I couldn't get an answer from the salon, and I will go back to Tennessee, okay? Or you should I would come... love that. Would you? Okay, but I've got to get 35 people in that class or I can't come. Haley, Tennessee stay... doesn't require continuing education, so a lot of people just don't seek it out. So it might be hard in Tennessee. But I can easily get to North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, or Kentucky, too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, just because it, I, I'm not required to take continuing education. Me I either. I shows all the time. 
I, me too. And I like to go to a live class, but apparently so people- do I, because people, I'll tell you what people say to me, thank you, God, for, they'll go, look, Zoom's great, but I want to come up and talk to you. I, me too. And I want to see the model. I want to see, I don't want to yes. do a video. Can I, and I say, okay, come here. I'm going to wrap in this foil. Here's the comb you put in the next one. That way, when I'm doing these demonstrations, you did a couple, Chucky did a couple, Annie did a couple, Beth did a couple, Dustin did a couple. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And watching you, I'm not going to let you screw it up. And I'm not going to, and if somebody doesn't want to do it, they don't have to do it. But that's the difference between live mm -hmm. education. And I'm very frightened that in years with artificial intelligence, we're not going to have any human beings anymore. I agree. And some of the people that I am in contact with daily, I met at the your class at Candace's salon near Hilton Head. Yeah. You know, just that one day connected us in a way that we message each other, we're support for each other. And it's been what Annie needs to hear because Andy, that class was over a year and a half ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. we still contact I'm still in contact with Bill and Candace and Bill, Brooke. Yeah. I mean, that was a fabulous class. We're a community of colors. Now Candace said we can go back to her salon anytime and teach. Oh well I can eat let's do it. It's beautiful space, beautiful hey, hostess. Where in fabulous. Tennessee are you? I am in East Tennessee on the border of Western North Carolina. I'm in a okay. very small town called Greenville. See, I need a closest. Talk. I'm sorry. That to says I no towns where the sidewalks roll up at 9 p.m., but our sidewalks roll up at 5 p.m. So that certainly won't work for Beth. <laughs> Dustin, uh, Damien is working on trying to get, I know that, um, that she, um, she was Zanacor, Zaracor, I was trying to be in touch with her mm -hmm. and she had given me an, a yes, but I had never talked to her directly. I know she was very busy tying things up with inner coiffure. And if I can't reach the host salon, what am I going to do? Invite people. Right. And, but I understand there's another salon also in Nashville. This week, Day, uh, Damien and I will get you a class sometime in Tennessee. Okay. okay. You Thank come. you. Now, I will. Absolutely. Chucky, where are you? Where That's do you live? Me. We can't hear. I'm trying to unmute them. There. I'm about, I'm about 80, 80 miles north of Memphis. I'm on the opposite end of the state from Haley. So if we came to Tennessee, you might be able to come. Yeah, Nashville will be great because that's central, so everybody can okay. get there. And 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 uh, Damien knows somebody. And my dear friend with the glasses and the vest, hi. Where are you from? Does he even know I'm talking to him? Is it Randy? He's in he's in Nebraska. Oh, okay. So here's I'm going back to Bend, Oregon, which was, and I'm going back there. We're going to do a, a barbecue and a well, a cocktail party the night before. It's a beautiful Jasper salon, and we're going to take a hike Whatever. if you want to come in the mountains. Anna, you got to come. It's so beautiful. That's yeah. on March 11th. March 11th. Bend, Oregon. What I'm doing is I'm finalizing my list today of the exact locations, and um, we'll get that up there for all of you to read. And there are early bird registrations. If you or, um, order your ticket early, you get a big discount. And I'm also inviting people to bring their assistant be at a very low price. Because what I'm trying to do, I'd love to do it for free, but I got to buy their lunch and get their materials. We've got to get this next generation pumped up. We can't let it stay. We need young, delightful kids who want to color hair. Yes. Mm -hmm. As we elevate hair color to an art form. Yeah. You guys have been great. And I, I, this will be, um, we're going to put it on the Artego uh, YouTube, but I have a Beth Minardi channel on YouTube that you can, so go to Beth Minardi channel and Annie, tell the guys to put it up on the Beth Minardi channel too, because there's a lot of people. And now you guys have my phone number. You guys know how to email me, Beth Minardi at Gmail. Before this information gets gets old, if there's something you need for me today, I'm going to recap this and Annie will have it. And so will everybody up there. Her sales group will. And, um, and let's stay in touch because aside from my daughter, my life is hair color and teaching it and doing it and perfecting it and formulating it and talking to people like you who love it. And, you know, 
it it changes making a person feel better about the way they look even if it's the slightest little change a few little highlights um you know or getting their hair somebody ruined it somehow and you fix it it's a wonderful feeling it really is and um so i i'm really passionate about what and there's no dumb question you know the only questions i can't answer is do you think i should get a divorce <laughs> which pe you know should i have a baby now or should i wait until i'm a good colorist these are questions i can't answer but the others i can and haley i'm coming Okay, let me get Damien on my other guru on this. And um, I appreciate all of you so much. In Sarasota, we're at a gorgeous salon right out, outside uh, Interstate 75 called um, Cutting Loose Salon. Coral Peace uh, is the owner, and it's going to be a wonderful day. And what could be better than getting out of the dark and cold and coming to Florida? Sarasota, the shells wash up on the beach hole. They're not even goofed up. Annie knows that. And I'm there for the winter, so I might be coming so up. You've got to come, Annie. And I'm going to do gonna try. I'll, you'll be one of my models. Oh, I'd love that. Yeah, I know. Okay, everybody. Big giant love. Did you have a good time? Thumbs up if you learned anything. I okay. learned lots. I took notes. Okay. <laughs> um, remember, um, keep dream, dreaming big and always dream in color. I will look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. you need, and if you want to complain, complain. Uh, and, um, I look forward to seeing you again.